Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sonichu. Sonichu, what's up, brother? Hey, Shaman. You ready, Sonichu? Yeah, this is episode 9, isn't it? Yeah, it's episode 9. I think I'm ready to rock and roll, too. Hey, Shaman, can I shout out to these new subscribers? Yeah, go ahead. What's up, Ian? Ugo, and awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you ain't shitting, Sonichu. Hell yeah, I ain't kidding, brother. Oh, hell yeah. All right, you guys ready? Let's rock and roll. Oh, shit. That's all fucked. There we go. Sonichu, episode nine. Trish-chan, Saramal, and Wesley in the evil that stomped Quickville. Hey, Chris. I think this belongs to you. Who are you? Thank you. My hedgehog name is Sarama. <laughs> Sarama. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Wes Isley, I had given you my heart and soul, and you dare to harm my best friend? <gasps> Sarah? I can't believe you would do a thing like that, but you did. I should have never hooked up with you. Hooked up? Sarah? Is that you? <gasps> what the? <laughs> yes, Wes. And I say, I say that we are through. I do not love you anymore. No! I should leave you bound to that tree, but the three of us are destined to destroy the evil being that is lurking somewhere. Ow! I hurt in three places. Oh yeah, the prophesized evil. I wonder where it'll strike. Father! Yes, Sonichu? I just got a call from Rosie. There is a rock monster destroying Quickville. Oh, no. This must be the evil. Sonichu, go on ahead. We'll catch up. Okay. Sarah, there's a rock monster destroying the city of Quickville. It may be the evil. Then we have no choice. We have to go destroy it. Chris, stay there. Next to Wes. <laughs> What? <laughs> Let's fly! <laughs> Chris, which way to Quickville? Right, Sarah. About 25 miles due north. That way. Wow, this is the best levitation trick ever. Alright. Wow! Napscope. Christian, Sarama, Wesley, Sonichu, and Rosachu. It's like they're, they're all going to the Quickville. Moments ago. The city of Quickville. A vibrant community with happy people, cool chicks, business, and a frustrated male. <sighs> What's going on? Oh no! It's a giant golem monster! And that witch! Mary Lee Walsh! Uh oh, Mary Lee Walsh. Damn. I can shatter many hearts with this golem. And we'll take over the world. You bet, ancient spirit! The Cherokeean and Wasabi clans may have put me away for centuries, but I will rule the world. Oh, that's the spirit? Damn. Minutes later. Oh no, that thing is huge. We have to take it down, Chris. You know this world. Any ideas? I think so. Sarah, shoot some arrows into its eyes. Wes, fire up its knees. Those things always have weak knees. I'll go for its heart spot. Let's... Oh, my heart was broken, and I don't know what's going on. 
What's the point? Buck up! My heart was previously shattered, and I'm not complaining. We have to destroy the monster before it destroys the city. Let's move! Meanwhile... Sonichu, Father, if you are all are involved in fighting that monster, please be careful. <laughs> Let's finish this. Team Blast! Blue Fireball Attack! Until another day. Until another day, hedgehogs! <laughs> that orb is talking? The evil we're supposed to destroy is him? And Mary Lee Walsh has his cage? No. No use in chasing them now. Since we will meet again. Father, I got here as fast as I could, but it looks like I'm late. Don't worry about it, Sonichu. We three saved the day. Sarah, Wes, and me. Transform! So, Chris, how do we get back to Rutgersville from here? There's a warp point in my mayor office at Quickville Mall. I'll get us a cab. Epilogue Later, in Christian's room. Are you okay, Sarah? Yeah, I'm fine. I just feel concerned since you broke up with Wes. Don't worry, Chris. We had previous disputes. Besides, he did lack something. I see. So, do you have someone else in mind? Or are you going to take it easy for a while? Well, I did have someone else in mind. He's big, strong, and handsome. Really? Does he have a name? Yes. His name is William. Oh! <laughs> well, as long as he makes you feel happy, if he ever lets you down and out, just come to me. You may cry on my shoulder as much as you need. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate your concern. Don't be a stranger. Please be sure to stop by for a visit whenever you're in the neighborhood. It's always great to have you around, best friend. Smiley face. The end. I, Christian Weston Chandler, dedicate this page to my lifelong friend, Sarah Hammer. We've known each other since we were about two years old. I now present some of our fun times together. Aww, this is fucking adorable. Damn. We shared fun on her swing set. We enjoyed the slide and individually swings. We both really had fun chatting on the swing built for two. Sarah Hammer, born October 13th, 1982. One time, she tried to teach me to roller skate, but I fell and cried and gave up. It hurt a bit. Hide and seek was always worth a laugh. Counting at the tree, finding and tagging before reaching her front door. Our last childhood memory was before I moved to Richmond for middle and high schools. We hit the t-ball and I told her the sad news. But even after moving, I never forgot my best friend. Smiley face. Currently, I don't get to see her as much as I did. Because she found herself a boyfriend while I was in Richmond. 
but I often wonder how she is and if she is happy with him. I share my troubles with her in my illustrations, letters, and over the phone. I always appreciate the little moments I have with her. Shit's fucking sad, dude. It's okay, Shaman. That shit's fucking sad, son and you. I know, dude. It's okay, Shaman. Thanks, son and you. Dude, this shit's sad, man. It's okay, Shaman. All right, I know. Damn, this shit's fucking sad. All right, wait. Uh, son and you, catch you later. Oh. All right. Peace, chicken grease, everybody. Damn. Come on and catch you some love job. You can keep me shitting love job, brother chop. Love job, brother chop. Love job, brother chop. Service your day. Catch you some love job. Chop, 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 chop. You can keep me shitting love job, brother.